Hi, it's Janine Turner, and this is your God on the Go Minute. All right, let's see. Ecclesiastes, which I really actually love. Um, Ecclesiastes 6, 9. Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. This also is vanity and a chasing after wind. That's what he keeps saying in Ecclesiastes. It's a vanity and chasing after wind. But this is this is pretty profound here. I mean, it is Solomon after all. Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. So what does this tell us? What we can see that's right in front of us is clear and the wandering of desire is an unknown. So why do we give up the joy of today, which we lose the joy of the day, by the way, if we're so concerned in our minds thinking about tomorrow or the wandering of desires of something we wish we had at a different moment. If we're focused on that, we lose this moment. And this moment may be great and it may be difficult, but it's the moment that God has given us. And there's another uh, verse in Ecclesiastes was talking about God has given us the joyful, but God has also given us the adversity. So if God has given us both, there's something to be gleaned from both situations, both the joyful and the adversity. And so it's really the same thing with this too. Enjoy the clarity of what we see now because what we are desiring in this wandering in our brains may or may not ever come to fruition. It's tomorrow. It may not be what God desires for us in the first place. And then we've lost today. And certainly right now, we're all living in today, aren't we? With this pandemic, all we can do is live in today. Better is the sight of the eyes, which is what we see today, than the wandering of desire. This also is vanity and a chasing after wind. So we can't wander after desire. It's just an unknown and we lose our joy of the moment. And it is vanity and a chasing after wind. There was a Northern Exposure episode called All is Vanity. I think they got this from the Bible. All is vanity and a chasing after wind. Have a blessed day. Enjoy today. Find a joy in today. Try to stay in this moment and find the joy in it. Or at least, at the very least, God's purpose. What is God teaching us today through the joy or through the adversity? Because there's always enlightenment in every moment of every day. If we stay in the, we stay on the way. Have a blessed day.